swiping this is amit and here i am going to provide you the biggest information for obc category if you are from other category kindly wait for other video because i will provide you similar type of information for all other category also scst pwd ews general everything you will get on the same channel so here i am going to talk about marks versus percentile versus obc rank so this is unique type of video you will not find on youtube because it takes lots of effort to make this data so please try to listen my word very carefully so that you will understand this data in more detail also i will talk about nit triple it safe a score for all type of college top 5 10 15 20 lower everything for obc category particularly so now now let's talk about the percentile versus rank versus the marks so percentile 99.5 if you are targeting then your marks should be 208 and this is for first attempt of je 2024 and that is for moderate paper not easy not for hard neither easy nor put hard paper if your paper will be hard a little bit less marks is required for easy paper a little bit more marks is required so similarly for second attempt a little bit more marks will be required depending on the type of paper and also depending on the difficulty level you also know competition will increase in second attempt so in generally 10 to 15 marks get increased for same percentile in second attempt so i will provide you some separate video for the second attempt as well like this so now if you talk about 99, 175 marks are required, your rank will be 2.5,000. For 99.5, it was 1.2,000 rank. And these are the rank that is OBC rank, not the CRL or general rank. If you want to check general rank, then you need to watch my general video that I will upload soon on this same channel. So there you will get the general rank. You will get two type of rank, general and OBC rank. But your OBC rank is important because you will get the college based on that because of your reservation now if we talk about 98.5 160 marks is required rank will be 3.9 thousand for 98 150 marks is required 5.5 thousand rank and uh, for 97 135 marks is required and rank will be around 8 thousand now if we talk about for 95 115 marks is required rank will be around 14 thousand for 90 84 marks and 28 thousand rank for 85 percentile 74 marks and 47 thousand will be the rank and for 80, 60 marks is required, 56,000 that is OBC category rank I am talking about. For 70 percentile, 42 marks is required and the rank will be 79,000. For 60 percentile, 34 marks is required, rank will be around 1.2 lakh. I will not go below this because there will be no use of those percentile for OBC category. For other category, I will go below as well. Now, if we talk about cutoff percentile, before that, I would like to inform you about my complete mentorship and guidance program because in that I will be mentoring you on a daily basis. Suppose if you are not enrolled in a particular coaching or you are enrolled, but your uh, preparation is not going well, you haven't covered much syllabus, you are confused between board and J exam or J advance and J mains. So I will be guiding you on a daily basis. I will provide you the activity, what you need to do in order to get the best college. Even from now, if you will do the right process, you can get into the IITs and ITs. That is stop i am talking about with csc and whatever branch you are interested in and this is not only for j but for other interest exam also like bitsat or manipal comet k a triple e vit mstc et go set all type of examination i will be covering wvj as well so once you register i will cover all the examinations so that you will get best result in every examination and after getting the result i will do the counseling in every uh, examination there will be a separate counseling and you will get the college after getting the college obviously you need only one college that should be the best and with best possible branch it also depends on your family background how much uh, economically a stronger or weaker you are accordingly we will select the best possible college for you across india so hope you get my point if you want you can contact there is a very nominal charge for the detail you can check sites so let's get uh, continue with this video that is a cutoff percentile for j advance that is to qualify for j advance will be 73 to 74 for obc category this year and this will remain same for first attempt second attempt but marks will change because of the difficulty level of the paper to get same percentile you need to score different type of marks in both that time so for first time it will be 35 to 50 that is according to the type of paper if a paper will be hard 35 marks easy 50 marks moderate 40 to 45 you can expect now if you talk about for the college then top 5 99.35 percentile is required to get an it with CSC branch in top 5 i'm talking about and for lower branch 95 and these are the data that is for other state male as if you are a female or if you are from home state then you need to deduct a little bit of score because you have separate reservation as well for triple it 98 and 97 here you may think that why 97 for lower in triple it because in, in uh, triple it lower means uh, ec branch and it branch because in triple it college there is no mechanical civil like branch so that's why the cutoff percentile is a little bit more as compared to an it it is not like the nit college is bad and triple it is good 
So now if you talk about GFTI 96.4, 94.3. Now if you talk about top 10 NIT 98.85, 94.3. That is for CSE and lower, triple IT 97, 95.7, GFTI 94, 90.6. Lower means any type of branch you just want to enter into that college. So after slash, the same I am discussing that is for lower branch. Now if you talk about top 15, 98.3, 93.9, that is for NIT, triple IT 96, 95, GFTI 93.5, 90. Now if you talk about top 20, 97.5, 93.5, that is for NIT. And for triple IT 95.5, 94.5, for GFA 92.5, 89.5 percentile. Now if you talk about for lower NIT 96, 92.5, that is for uh, CSE and lower and for triple IT 94.5, 94 and for GFA 92 and 88.4. So this was about the complete information regarding the OBC category that is uh, percentile versus marks versus your category rank and also I have discussed the NIT triple IT GFA cut off information that is percentile wise also for the advance how much marks and percentile you need to score to be eligible for the advance examination. So hope you get this information very useful. Please try to subscribe the channel so that you will get complete information if you want the same information in Hindi language try to subscribe my Hindi channel it is admission academy thank you